Hey fellow tennis nerds, this video deals with Pete Sampras tennis racket. Having recently finished Andre Agassi's video, it felt only natural to cover Pistol Pete. As he was called, Sampras held the Grand Slam record until 2009 when Federer surpassed him at Wimbledon and reached 15 slams. Now Nadal and Djokovic has done it too. Uh, this is a sign of course that we live in a crazy time in a truly historic era of the game. But back to Pete. Pete used the same racket for pretty much all of his professional career. The legendary Wilson Pro Staff 85, the same model that was used by Stefan Edberg, Jim Courier and later also Roger. Before he moved first to his 90 square inch racket and then the 97 square inch autograph. Sampras actually commented on wanting to do the same thing in this clip from 2010. Actually around at uh, this exhibition in Jersey with Roddick and I picked up his racket and wow, it felt a lot of power and user in my arm, user in my back. So I got a racket and put in the string that everyone's using and it felt a good combination for me. And, you know, Wilson is a great racket, but it, it's hard on my arm. It's, it's a stiff, hard racket and now I need a little bit more pop and I, I just, I, I need it if I'm going to you know, play some tennis out here. It's, I've gone from a, a blade to a Callaway here. Known for his now antiquated serve and volley style of play, Sampras was asked if he had any regrets about not adapting as the racket evolved and changed the sport into a hard-hitting baseline slugfest. I would have tried some technology. I really would have, especially for the clay. Just, you know, put the Wilson away, use the babble, use the string, give me some margin for error, give me some more pop. But I was so I was close-minded and mentally felt like it's the only racket I could play with. So, listen, I mean, when you're in it, you just you believe in what, what you know sort of got you there. But, um, you know, something I you wish I was a little bit more open-minded to it. But um, I remember at the time I was talking to a few different ex-players about trying something. I was so against it. The Wilson Pro Staff 85 is one of the true legends in the world of tennis rackets. But for today's game, the head size is very unforgiving and that's why you don't see it on the Pro Tour any longer. It was introduced in 1983 and was used by Sampras for his entire professional career. He chose the stock production frames from, a, from Wilson's Sankt Vincent factory in the Grenadines, adding custom handles and lead tape through Priority 1. Would Sampras have had better results if he had moved from a bigger head size? I definitely think so. I think you could have moved to a larger head size and a polyester string sooner and it would have been a bit easier to play. Perhaps it wouldn't have felt as great as the Pro Staff 85 because it's a really sweet racket to play with and I really recommend you to give it a try if you haven't. I've reviewed it briefly on this channel before. Federer did move away from the 85 square inch head size in 2002. He said he felt like it was um, because he used a lot of top spin. He was shanking the ball way too much, especially in windy conditions. And he was brushing the ball a lot more than his competitors at the time. The Pro Staff 85 is a brilliant racket, especially on serves and volleys. Has a very maneuverable feel, of course, due to the small head size. Still plays pretty stable. For Pete, that wasn't enough. He added a lot of lead tape to his frame at 3 and 9 and probably a bit more as well to get his specs strung at 384 grams, 32.3 centimeter balance and a 367 swing weight. This is a bit depending on the string. He used quite thin natural gut strings and uh, string savers to get the lifespan a bit longer and also power pads to prevent the gut from fraying against the frame. And uh, he used a 1.20 gauge of Bobolat VS natural gut that is strung at 70 pounds. So that's one reason you see Sampras breaking a lot of strings in his matches. He's using a very thin natural gut strung at a high tension. It's a recipe for breaking and he also hit very hard, especially as you know, on his serve, especially his second serve was a fantastic weapon compared to the rest of the players at that time. So why did Pete Sampras choose to play with St. Vincent made frames? Well, Wilson had their, one of their factories there from 1983 to 1991. The island had a tax-free status. Obviously, there was a really good climate. The factory workers apparently were re trained really well and the factory is said to have had very impressive quality control. But what is the real difference between a St. Vincent Pro Staff 85 and, for example, a Chicago or China-made Pro Staff 85? There could be differences in stiffness and feel. 
Some people say that the St. Vincent rackets were stiffer. I've not seen any real evidence to validate this claim. One of the engineers at the St. Vincent factory said that over time the racket molds became worn and they couldn't close completely and that's why the St. Vincent Pro Staffs were 18 millimeter uh, thickness in the beam instead of 17 millimeter for the other rackets, which could explain the slightly stiffer feel of the racket, not sure. Um, Sampras used a leather grip for his frame, he used a Torna overgrip and a Torna vibration dampener. It is also said that he had a specific grip shape for his rackets, that they were molded by Priority 1, but I'm not sure what the exact grip shape was, if it was closer to head or just had like a small adjustment of some kind. This is pretty much it about Pete Sampras racket, a real sledgehammer of a frame suitable for an aggressive attacking player. Really hammer down a serve and then played a lot of one-two punch, had a brilliant volley. I really find that the Pro Staff 85 is the, one of the best volleying rackets out there still, but it's very difficult to use in today's game with the amount of topspin being generated by new strings and larger head sizes. What do you think of Pistol Pete and his career? Should he have moved to a different frame? I'm curious to hear your opinions in the comments below. That's it for this Tennis Nerd Pro Player video. Thanks for all the likes, shares and subscribes to the channel. If you are unsure about what racket to use, I offer a racket consultation service on the Tennis Nerd website. Just check it out there. I also offer more e content on our Patreon page at patreon.com slash tennis nerd. And it's only two bucks a month and you get unique content every week. That's it for now. Have a nice day. Stay safe. And if you can, play some tennis.